there, there's a place where you go up about 4,000 feet as you're coming out of Bishop, and you're going into the area around Yubahibi Crater, mm -hmm. there's a whole forest of Joshua trees. It's unbelievable. Um, well, so. the, the desert trip can happen at some point. Yeah. Well, you know, it, well, it's obviously going to be next year, but that's okay. Well, it might be next year. Or it might. If I have, if I can go, if, if we have to go. see if he had his time, but um, I mean, I, I'm game for anything. And well, see, next I'll, year if you if you can't go, I'll just just go to Vegas by myself and just just do Vegas, you know. Well, if there right. is a tour bus that goes to Valley of Fire, take it. Trust uh, me. There might be. I mean, take I can it. check it out online. I guess I'm sure there is because Valley of Fire is fairly well known. There's also another place. Which is well known, called um, I think it's called it's closer to Vegas. It's what I think it's called Red Red Rock Mountain or something like that. But Valley of Fire is truly incredible. I mean, you will completely be amazed. Well, if it's that much of a tourist attraction, there must be day trips from from oh, Vegas. Of it, there, are, there is there is a there is a tour bus that I'm goes sure there. there. It's, it's not cheap. It's only it's only thirty minutes away. But we can give you a ride for nothing. But Colorado would be more important. Colorado is definitely... Important. See, well, yeah, I, I would be certainly more inclined to do Denver first. Because um, the va actually, Garden of the Gods is pretty much like Valley of Fire. It's very similar light landscape, and it's famous. And um, and I think there and there's campgrounds there, too. Um... And Colorado Springs, that whole area, is a pretty amazing country. And, you know, Pikes Peak is really yeah. away. Pikes Peak is right, you know, right up the Now, mountain. you, of course, used to live in Colorado. Yeah, well, but I'm in Boulder. Well, yeah I, yeah, I lived in Boulder, but I, I always went into Denver on weekends. Yeah, because right. it's, what, about 30 miles? Uh, not quite, maybe 25. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to used to take a basically a commuter bus that ran seven days a week. On Saturday and Sunday mornings I I catch that bus, you know, from close to my apartment and then you know get off get off at the uh, Mile High Flea Market. The Mile High Flea Market. Where Gershom found records that you wouldn't believe. I don't even have this stuff. That was great back then. And then you had that other guy, Danny, who had So those amazing. were super, yes. super premium records? Yeah. Super premium records like EPs of the Moon Glows and... Oh, those are the ones that are like comments. in your in your, in your your actual apartment right now? You're just, uh, They're in Tucson. Super premium ones or are they in the inside storage? Um, most most of the EPs are in, um, in the inside storage and, and you know... I yes. mean... I, yeah, including you know like the cases that have the the, the vocal groups and yes. the Beatles and Elvis all yes. that stuff's yes. in the inside unit. Yes, I just have that one 45 case that has the cream of the cream. Uh, we know the cream of the cream, the stuff that you took in person across the country. Yes, or did yeah. Brian move it for you? I eventually moved it. He actually moved it. He eventually moved it. You know, it turned out that it's the Holy of Holies box with some very obscure and very rare. 45 and the records. fourth move. The fourth move. Those records have been through the Shenandoah Valley. They've, They've been, been through, through the Shenandoah Valley. They've been Mountains. through Shreveport, Louisiana. <laughs> Isn't Shreveport a dump? <laughs> that was pretty rough. Was I had it? I had Steve on Skype. I saw it. <laughs> what, was, what was that place in Mississippi wow. you went through? And I went, holy crap. What a great place to do photography of semi-desolate you know, villages and stuff. Yeah, there's some, you know. You know. What was that? It was somewhere in Mississippi, like, you know, it was like down from... Brooksville or something Brooksville. Like that. that would be in the northern part of the state, like, yeah. like sort northern of, Jackson. Sort of like mid... Mid-eastern. Mid-eastern. Yeah. That's real countryside there. That's real small towns. There ain't of course, you there. see a lot of that off Amtrak. Especially yes, from New Orleans to Chicago. Yes. Which That's reminds right. me, I think it would make sense to do a New Orleans Memphis trip. That would be nice. Not go all the way to Memphis Chicago, trip. but go to Memphis. I want to go to Memphis. Well, I certainly would like to visit Memphis once. You know, it's 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 further there's down. There's culture my there. Memphis. There's history. There's great music there. I can tell you that. Yeah, I'd like to go to Memphis. On my well, there's Graceland if you want a tourist trap. Why not? We'll see. At least I mean, once. Elvis, Elvis is 
was, you know, was and, and still is important enough in the history of popular music in this country to warrant a visit to Graceland. Absolutely, because if it wasn't for Elvis, we wouldn't be knowing about rockabilly music. Seriously. So a New Orleans Memphis trip would be nice. That would be great. I'd do it tomorrow. And then you go back after at Memphis. Yeah. Well, see, the thing is, the thing is that it would actually be easier for me to go back by going up to Chicago and then coming down in the Texas Eagle than going back. Oh, I see, yeah. okay. Yeah. But see, that's for the future. You know, Memphis is like two or three years away if I live that long. Well, that's what I mean. Is, yeah, is so we, we can't, can't take think of time two or for, three years. We can't take time for granted. Do it now. we got to do it now, man. I mean, Cthulhu could rise up and eat the world and Do it now while right. we have the chance. Either that or else don't. Trump might have to get Trump elected Trump president. And then, 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 the end then of the Cthulhu world is would be the lesser of the two evils. <laughs> then, it's, then it's time right. to do everything fast before, yes. before you... Before. At the time of this recording, uh, Donald Trump is the Republican nominee for yes. the 2016 election. Yeah, he looks like he's got the nomination. If Cassis dropped out and, and, and Cruz dropped out, there's nobody left. If this recording exists next year. We are saying the chant to May, may God help us all. Who knows? All the possibilities are pretty... They're pretty, pretty grim. Yeah, pretty grim this year. That's why I'm I'm living every day as much as you know, um, poor. You know, yeah, they're lower that, income. They're lower income. Some will probably get little section little eight there. Yeah. I mean, I never asked the no uh, the manager about that because it's not relevant to me. No, but no. But the thing is, is there needs to be, especially for senior citizens, there needs to be a what they call a uh, a safety net. Yeah. And that's my safety net because if it if, if it was a regular thing and I didn't have that, I would have been screwed years ago. Mm -hmm. Because the yuppie invasion really began in 1991, 92. College Avenue was just beginning to begin gentrified around 91. You're saying College Avenue used to have a bunch of thrift stores. Oh, it used to have eight gas thrift stations. stores on it. Yeah, there used to be street people living there. There used to be you know petty crime, drug dealing. This was on College Avenue. The hut was notorious wow. at that time. Um, Are you serious? No, I mean, when you were talking about, oh, I live in the Rockridge district, people would look at you from Montclair and go, oh, really? Wow. You live there? Jesus. I'm not kidding. It was, it was like an extension of West Oakland. Are you serious? This was at least All I know of Rockridge is super yuppie oh, and rich. Oh, no, 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 no. We, when I lived in the We're place go I to lived Market above Hall Giles. We're going to Market Hall and buy $25 spaghetti noodles. No, I lived above Giles. I had a railroad flat for $500. We had druggy people and tweakers living in the basement. Wow. One of the kids was murdered by somebody in the backyard of a nearby place about a block away. Wow. There was another guy who would walk up the street completely blitzed. No, that's super rich, rich, There used to be a thrift Ridge. store on the corner that had a gypsy wagon parked in front of it. Not anymore. Oh, man, it's long gone. You know.